Now, Houstonians who lived along local bayous were among those hardest hit by flooding during and after Harvey. Over the past weeks, crews have been cleaning up the waterways and they've been finding some pretty interesting things, including washing machines and refrigerators in the bayous. Channel 2's Lee Felici is joining us live tonight in East Houston near I-10 at Market, where crews did some major work today. Lee? Yes, Bill. Well, here is another example of what we found in the bayou today. Take a look over here. This is a trailer, something for cleanup crews to pick up when they get to this section. We've talked a lot about curbside debris. Today, we took a look at the debris in the bayou and how cleanup crews are cleaning it up. We have more than 2,500 miles of channels and waterways that we need to inspect. County's waterways getting some much needed TLC after Harvey left behind a mess. Trees, trash, and vegetative debris getting hauled away from the bayous and creeks so they don't choke up the waterways. With the record rainfall that we had during that storm, um, it, we've had crews working 24 hours and even, even down to today, extended shifts. Without this clearing out of blockages and trash, there could be more flooding. If it's not clear, I mean, any little rain could back it up and it, I mean, it could go right back to flooding just like that in a second. A strainer of sorts, trash stuck in the treetops near the bayous shows how high the water rose in those areas. In all, 18 flood gauges failed during the storm. Crews are fixing the last three. In all, to remove 135,000 cubic yards of Harvey debris has been a round-the-clock effort as we inch our way through a hurricane season that ends November 30th. We're still in hurricane season and we've got to be prepared for whatever else comes next. So if you spot blockages in the bayou, you can help. Give Harris County Flood Control District a call. The number is 713-684-4000. We're live on the east side of Houston. Lee for Lisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Lee.